Hi guys, welcome to Big Wendy. She's Wendy, so we are Wendy, 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 Wendy. Welcome back, guys. So this is part two. Do numero do do do. Do, do. <laughs> madam. How do you numero uno? <laughs> I know him. Yeah. So you guys, if you watched our previous video, you saw that was my story. Her story. So you're not ready for this. You're not ready. Nah, you're not. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> so now. Here, as I said before, my baby came at seven, seven months and 30, 30 months weeks was in September. September 10th. 10th. Hers was August, August 11th. 11th. Yeah. yeah, it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very shocking you did. If it was seven months, like in August, we'll have given birth on the same Together, yeah. yeah. Hey, God loves. We make plans, God loves. Hey, my he laughed out loud. Hey, he like Abisa. He laughed at us. Anyway, so I also had a normal delivery. Uh, I, I, I had my baby in a South hospital, but I had not booked <laughs> seven <laughs> months. You're not even thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to start time. booking at 31 weeks. Yeah, so that I even wanted to go book a like when like yeah, like you they normally tell you uh, by the time the seventh week comes, you, you should have you should booked. Have booked. Yeah. So my plan was, hey, I got my I get my medical card, I go, Nini, I mean, man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> it <beyond life>. <laughs> <laughs> on 9th, September 9th, uh, I have I have a charity foundation. We we visit children's homes. Nini, nini. So on this September 9th, <clears throat> we went to a children's home in Ukonyumia Garden City. It's called Gumba. So we went there with my friends. I mean, me, I felt like I am not strong enough to do these things, but do. So I go there, my friend. Edward. <laughs> Edward comes and tells me, Wendy, unakaaje? Uko poa kweli? I'm like, why? Unatembeaje? I was like, I, I feel okay, but my back is really aching. Yeah. He's like, hey, who bring those bags you carry? I carry for you. I'm not sure where we're at. I was like, I saw she came in bags with prudence. Yeah. Edward and prudence are like, why, why are you like that? Mm -hmm. So, a kidogo that pain comes and goes like cramps exactly yeah, like, cramps. Cramps. like cramps okay if you actually have cramps when you get yeah you know you, you it's the same thing <laughs> yeah it's basically the same yeah. thing no at first it's the same thing at <laughs> then it's not now <laughs> so it comes and then it potters when it potters ah me i'm cool we are, we are chatting i didn't know what was going on and i didn't also want to call people because I, I thought I was tired mm -hmm. and strained myself because the previous night I'd really baked a lot of cakes yeah. and I was delivering in the morning mm. then we go. So probably I felt like ah maybe I haven't slept well but when I get to the house today by around 6 I mean, I'll sleep till whatever time. Yeah. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. God was laughing now mm. at that time. <laughs> so when we finished Mamboye took her that children's home we went. No I was going, I was in Juja, I was not at home, I was not with my parents yet. I was planning to come home for 9 months. Hey. So I went back to the house, eh. and then I was, I was staying with my friends, just in case, you know, we were at that state of, hey, you know, you never know, I can't stay alone. Yeah, you can't stay alone. Yeah. So I, I was with my friend, I tell my friend Lisa, I'm like, Lisa, you guys, there's this pain that's calming, mm -hmm. but then it put tears. Now by the time I was getting to the house, it was becoming worse, and this was like at 7 p.m. So I told her, eh, let me lie down, I don't even want to lie on the, on the bed, yeah. I just to lie on the floor. So she's like, guys, sour. So I, I, I lay down on the floor. They brought me food. So she's bringing, she's like, babe, is this really labor? I'm like, I don't know. She even like, texted me. She was like, how did you feel? Yeah, I was like, is this and then she was like, I'm feeling like that. And me in my head, I'm like, this girl is seven months. Like, yeah, no, we, yeah. Right even when I called my mom, she's like, ah, what am I talking about? I was like, oh, need fatigue. Yeah. I slept. Hmm. I didn't even eat that food. I was just like, guy, me this pain apana. So time for sleeping, I'm sleeping. 
my friend is waking me. Uh, so I, I keep on feeling that pain. And then now for me, at first it was just the pain. Then now at around 11 p.m., I'm feeling my, my, my I was sleeping in Adera. Yeah. So I'm feeling, eh, hey, it's wet. Right. I'm like, what is wrong? Uh, so I wake up because I felt like peeing. I go, I pee a lot of pee. So yeah. I wonder, I may not pee like this. What is this? Kumbe, she's just releasing her water. Hey, and then when it shines, even this nini dries. Yeah. My dress dries immediately. It was so weird. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, the pain is gone. I go and sleep. It comes back again like seven times the whole night. Now we got to a point at around 6 a.m. I was even crying. I was, I was, I was mad. As in, not because at it was of the pain. I was mad because. What is happening? Oh, I'm saying I don't want to lose my baby. Yeah. That's what I, in my head I was like, baby, I don't want to lose my baby. So I was crying. I'm like, no. So and I wasn't telling anyone. So mm -hmm. I cried on my own. And I just went back to sleep at seven. Hey! Me, I woke up and told my I called my mom, mommy, where are you? I tell you, I'm in the house. Kwani, what's wrong? She's not how she's asleep. It was on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She tells me, ah, see, she's not going Kanisa. So I tell her, Mommy, by the way, this pain, uh -uh, I need to go to hospital. And I'm not, I refuse to go to the hospital, I used to go for cleaning. Yeah. I just, for unknown reasons. Mm. Anyway, so, and I had not booked for hospital. And that day, Mpesa was not working. Yes, it was that day, Mpesa did not work the whole day till around, around noon. And then, in the, and then my baby daddy was in Mombasa. <laughs> he had my medical card. Get that right. He had my medical card. You can't be admitted without it. <laughs> he had my medical card. <coughs> the, and Nini, they can't send me money for Mpesa. So no Uber. And I was broke like shit. I had like 500 between wow. me and poverty. Yeah. So you can imagine from Juja to, let's say, the closest hospital apart from your Neema. The one I wanted to go is a, a card. There's no way it would be 500. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Hey, Nimi Nani. So Kidogo, I tell my mom I have to go to hospital and she's like, okay, you prepare yourself, you go. So I woke up my friends, I'm like, you guys, I feel I'm not feeling well mm -hmm. and we really need to I need to go to hospital. So they're like, okay, will you wait for us to shower? So yeah, everyone was taking a sweet time in the shower. Me, my pain comes, I'm like, can you guys my Now my mom, I told my mom to call my cousin because her husband is a doctor, double doctor. So uh, we called the husband, and then he told us to to go to Coptic Hospital. Yeah. He had his friend who's a really good guy now, and they said they'd admit me without using uh, my medical, medical card. Yeah. Until now, everything is safe. Either way, it was an emergency. So yeah, yeah, yeah. My was dependent on what was needed. So, me and Nani with with my friends, we left at around ten. Yeah, I remember Sharon Kandia calling yeah, me. Yeah, Sharon was, was helping like, me get a hospital. Yeah. She's calling all the hospitals. She was calling me. She's like, if you do this in labor, blah, blah, blah. I'm coming, I'm telling mom, hey, mom, I think we are there. My mom will be like, hey, how many months? I'm like, she's seven months. Hey, I want to begin with my mom. I want to begin with my mom. So we call your mom. I was like, hey, I told you to do that. I told you to do that. I'm like, hey. But her, you know, in, at that time, she went to church. I was trying to try to charge. <laughs> so she called my friend. My friend told her, ah, no, no, no need of coming because uh, Bado was not going to anything. Yeah. You just chill out. When you go to the hospital. Yeah. So when you go to the hospital, uh, I got a very good doctor, Dr. Mosiri. I hope he's watching. <laughs> he's so cool. Man! Mm. Best okay, guy I ever. I don't even remember the name of my doctor. Ah, Mimi. She's I remember because a... I was given his number. It's just an Arab. Was it Arab? She's an Hindu. Hindu. Uh, Hindu. 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 So now we got to Coptic. Uh, I'm, I'm there. I'm getting inside. Eh? The watchman. I'm like, Madam Nini. I'm like, Oh, hey, give me an emergency. Emergency. I think this watchman. <laughs> this watchman. They say a lot of things. Like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we are going there, and then some nurses attended to me, and then they were very nice people. And then Doctor Bosiri comes and he's like, "Hi, Wendy, Nini, Nini, how are you?" Uh, Nini. So he's telling me, "No, we can't admit you in this hospital because uh, we don't have a neonatal nursery yeah. for the preemies, mm -hmm. or, or either that or it was full." 
you can call them to confirm but anyway mm. so he tells me eh, which other hospital would you like to go to because me i'd suggest Nairobi hospital but i know the expenses are actually very high so i was like call mom and ask her <laughs> ask her yeah you don't you don't have to think yeah and then the good thing that you, so you, you, you can't, can't think. think dr gosire was so sweet the time i'm, I'm in pain i'm like hey, you wait i'm in pain mm. he's like no i did yeah i understand i was yeah. like why are you so nice though yeah <laughs> Like, like you're like, nice finally, 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 to live can it be so my mom asks to collect a wheelchair i'm out to i'll walk she's like okay fine so in the car in the car i'm like mommy i'm in pain i'm in pain and she says like when you breathe she'll tell you yeah. <laughs> for her it was fine actually yeah. she's like what i'm so gonna she's like that yeah she's paying it for the hey. so and then my mom is like so now mom yeah at see mommy breathing exercise yeah. i'm like ah you it's a bad thing. It's a lie. It's, it's a, a lie. lie. Okay, for me, it works. Right. With, it's a lie. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I didn't even think about that. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You know, like, oxygen hey. gets into your body, and then for some, I've forgotten my energy, but it's really hell. <laughs> I think for real, because there's not enough blood going hey, through hey. the nini. So, Zaza, me, I got there. Now, when you're going to get inside the lift, no, it's, a, it's a big hospital, like NHS building. So, when you have a lift, to mena so to end up in your lift and then the pain comes i'm like mommy i can't i can't get in you wait i sit down so everyone was laughing up and down everyone because now we are so dramatic i'm like hey mommy mommy wait and i'm like wait god so now everyone is like she can't lift my hand is so confused lifting up and get up yeah she's like no way then it opens again and then the pain disappears i'm like okay now i can come and then we extracting hey, pale we go to maternity the it was on sunday and it's like there are no patients yeah no one was in labor nothing and i was like so yeah i'm like mommy pain again hey and we just got into that flow mm. imagine so my mom go ask the watchman where the nurses yeah. at in sandru so my mom is like Excuse me, when emergency my daughter is in labor. Hey, the nurses, they came around. Hey, the best. They came be over. Sha sha sha. They like, "Hi dear. Ni 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 da putting for me that IV." Yeah. And then they like, "Let me rub your back." I was like, "Oh, come the nurses can be. They're not bad. Actually, we got Yeah, I was so, yeah, I was so scared. So they like, "Let me rub your back." I'm like, they rub my back, kidogo kidogo. No, that time they asked me questions because I was not registered under them. They, I've never been a patient in that hospital. You never even went for anti. I never went for anti. Yeah. there. Yeah. As if it was just crazy. They started from zero with me. Hey, kila kitu, kila kitu, kila kitu. Hey, and now me, I was progressing really quickly. Yeah. Really fast. Because I remember Kandi was telling me at the Wendy is in hospital right now. Um, she's in labor, and I was like, ah. Uh, how is she even dilated that you know she, I don't know you're like hey, when, when, when was the cop tick they are like let's check you <laughs> five centimeters hey <laughs> when Charlotte told me she is five centimeters I'm like ah what a car bye oh, oh. Yeah. shock oh now I got now there uh, they, they keep on checking the baby is okay heart beat wise and then now <laughs> the doctor came in and then no I I, I asked one of the nurses nurse um to talk with me tan because now I was scared maybe oh my god the feet are still it's not ready mm -hmm. to come out of the head me do want see yes mm -hmm. <laughs> so to like the nurse is like to that you are I was like you, you what you don't even know no 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 <laughs> and then like you're both funny and the nurses yeah. were so young it's so fun they were laughing at me yeah they were as in we were enjoying the whole journey together yeah so I got to a point I'm like hey mommy I can't my mom is like what do I do? I'm like, mom, drive my, rub my back. She's like, okay. And she rubbed on me, mommy, it's painful. And then her, her level of pain tolerance is zero. She has literally no I think at that time, there was also so much, as if it was fun. 
I was laughing at the same time, it was just so dramatic. Yeah. And then my friends came in, Banjo and Doti. Yeah. They're in there, and I'm like, who in the labor room, you guys? Mm. And then Banjo's like, eh? Even in a kuanga, <laughs> now he's a guy. He's yeah. like, what? And then Doti's there, like, how are you feeling? Need it? I'm like, mm mm. We're not going to have a conversation. About and then immediately now. the doctor walks in. So the doctor is like, Hi dear, how are you doing? So he's dressing up. He's like, I'm like, Doc, my water has broken. He tells me, But you've been leaking, your water has been leaking the whole time. Mm. I'm like, No, it's now it's come out. Mm. Like, psh, mm. I felt that. Psh. Yeah. He's like, Oh, okay. So I want you to tell me now. Him is deep poly poly. Yeah. I want you to tell me when you feel like going to poop. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I feel it now. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Yeah. Now, now. Like pooping yeah, is like now coming. Not me for me after the water broke. Now the pain was intense. Yeah. I felt like, and now the baby is pushing herself yeah. out, and it's painful. As if you feel like pooping can be sad. And the doctor was like, okay. I want you to push for me, darling. Push and don't stop pushing. Mm -hmm. ha! In my head, I was like, now this is the time. You feel hey! like you normally go and collect hey! it and you just like, hey! yeah. and then you feel that poop coming you out and you're like, yes. And it's exactly it's like that. Exactly like that. <coughs> what? <coughs> Mimi Nani. No, the doctor is telling me, darling, open your legs. And you're like, mm -mm. I was in, now I'm feeling the poop is coming. Yeah, but it's not voluntary. Like, now instead of opening my legs, I'm like, doing this. The doctor is like, my dear, you have to open your legs. Can't hold your legs here. I'm yeah. like, mm -mm, I can't. I'm <laughs> in the, the bed. <laughs> no, I can't. Then the doctor is like, darling, we're going to stay here for such a long time and you're going to get hurt. Yeah. So I need you to hold your legs and push. Push for me. Hey! My friend, I can't push. Like, you didn't even think twice. Now that's when I was like, and now, now I had to compose myself. I was mm. like, now they pay you for you have to forget the pain. Yeah. I was like, <sighs> and I pushed less than two minutes. Yeah. My baby was out, and I felt so nice. You feel so but they good. couldn't give me the baby because she was premature. They, they had no complications. Her, her, yeah. So I just cast the umbilical cord, wrapped her, took her to the nini, to the nursery, and yeah, got her there. Nini, nini checked, kill a kitu. So in the meantime, the doctor is like, my dear, I now need to remove your placenta. I was like, is it as painful? He's like, it's nothing like what you've just gone through. I was like, ah, do this. It's okay. Clean me up, man. <laughs> You're almost like, you know what, like, do this. Okay, Let's you know? do this. <laughs> so him, he was just like, hey, my dear, you're either a very strong girl or you didn't feel pain. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, what do you mean I didn't? The feel first pain? one. All in, I told him I'm a very strong guy. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he cleaned me up. He was like, Ah, you're bleeding kidogo, but you've not ruptured. Yeah. So he shall not kidogo too. Yeah. And he said, Ah, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So after that, I was eating. When I got to my room, hey, you feel so hungry. Yeah, because you're I ate there. And you're hungry. I ate there in me, the labor room. Me and my mother, you, they brought you food. They brought me in the labor room. Yeah, they brought me that hot chocolate and cake. And I was like, I'm not taking you can't it. Eat. Then after that, I'm like, Mom, where's the hot chocolate? Come she already come on and eat. Like, Maliza, she did what? She come on. I don't know who said that. She ate all of it. And then she's looking at me like, I'm in a I can't judge her. Yeah, she can't judge her. I'm not going to judge her. I'm not going to judge her. I'm not going to judge her. So after that, when I got to the home. How many kgs was she? Dion was 1.3. And she was so small, I was so angry, so it tiny. was so stressful. By the time her dad was getting there, hey, we had panic. Yeah. Do you know, you don't know, yeah, you don't know. a premature, hey, contact for my mom, it was like, what? Mm. Has she never gotten a baby that small? And we, she had never had a close encounter with a premature baby. Yeah. So she, she was just like, hey, okay. Now. What normally but then, eh, But then the baby cried yeah. as normal, and then they took her, and then they said she wasn't sick. She just had John Diskidogo, they did phototherapy for two days and she was done. Ah, after that, ah, okay, we stayed in hospital for two weeks. Ha ha, baby stayed in hospital for two weeks. I was commuting. We didn't want to extra bills. But, um, yeah, I, I thank God, because I will do it. Every by the time I got to my room, <laughs> so our rooms are very nice. <laughs> Loads. When I got there, I was chilling. Guess what? The squad arrived. Squad. Okay. Even the nurses were like, <clears throat> whoa. Even my mom was like, what? Oh, Your they friends are supporting. Yeah. They were there, like seven, eight people. Yeah. Poop. The room 
was even hot. We're like, hey, you guys. Hey, fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It was so nice and I felt so nice. And, and baby, baby's dad was there. He was so happy. Yeah. He was, he was, he was, at least I'm going to talk about this the SGR. Yeah. So big up SGR. You helped us. You helped us. Yeah. Hey, you helped us, man. No, I think. Mm. Okay, lessons to take home. Everyone has their own experience yeah, yeah, when yeah. it comes to pregnancy, when it comes to labor. Literally, your pregnancy is your pregnancy. Like, you will have your own changes, you will have, your body will react totally different from someone else. You will probably lose weight, someone else will gain uh, weight, yeah. you will remain the same size. As in, it's so different. Just your labor might it. be painful, it might be not painful. Yeah, yeah, and there are people who go different. through pain and there are people who don't feel anything. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, there are people their water will break, there are people their water won't break. Yeah. So, don't, okay, it's good to listen to like people's different stories. No, yeah, just listen. But at the end of the day, just know. But don't expect something specific. like if something doesn't happen to you don't think something is wrong with you yeah like if your water doesn't break don't think oh my god what is supposed to break no no say some people now for me now my water broke in the hospital and yeah. i'm dying immediately now imagine was in the house yeah you will have given birth in the house yeah so so don't when you feel kidogo contractions rush yeah just go to the hospital it's better, it's better with rudisho wambia bado mm -hmm. than staying home you don't know anything then you end up giving birth in the house and then another lesson book your hospitals early you have to book you see now for me but i thank god my doctors were the best the neonatal doctor i got was amazing we still go for checkups yeah but baby is big baby is now almost three kilos don't ask how how heavy my baby is no <laughs> Times two. <laughs> it's like six now, six point five. Yeah, our babies yeah. are. They are growing. Yeah, they are growing. Mm. So the someone was asking us how old they are. Now you know. Now you know. Now you know. Yeah. So that was like a life changing. Immediately you give birth, it's like a what are these called? Drapes. It falls off. It's like a curtain mm. falls off from your eyes. Hey. You see everything so differently. Like your perspective of life changes. changes. Your priorities Pri change. Hey, what's the priorities. Yeah, like you don't have time for petty petty issues. Yeah. You know. And then you know when you're pregnant, you have this don't scare attitude. You're like wow. I mean, some between dog and dog is not some work. What? And you have a baby to, to look after. Yeah, them. and then some things they just don't stress you anymore. You, and, and then you look back at things you were doing before you were pregnant just and you're like, like, I was so freaking Yeah, man. Yeah, so but it was, it's good. It's good. It's good. It was enjoyable. Guys, yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Don't forget to like, like comment, share, share, and subscribe. subscribe. And for sure, we'll be back with more videos. So, bye. Adios. Adios. Nizo. Eh, burratos, na cheese. Eh.